Hey guys, it's Jake from Aussie Reptiles here. Uh, I'm doing another quick video today on this tank behind me. Um, this was requested by one of you guys. Um, I'll pop your name down here. And then, uh, so thank you, thank you for the idea. Now let's turn around and have a look what is in this tank. Okay, so here we have this tank. It is a two foot tank. Below it we have my uh, pair of thick tail geckos. But in this tank is the tank uh, that my spotted marsh frogs now live in. Now what we'll do is we will unplug the fog machine. The fog machine's there basically to maintain a little bit of humidity and make sure the plants get some, some moisture as well. But let's turn that off and have a look. Alrighty, as we allow the fog to rise up and disappear, let's take the lid off and get a close look. Alrighty, so here we have it. Super, super basic setup. There you can see one of the frogs. There's one there. There's one back there. They are the albino spotted marsh frogs. Now there's also a few normals in here, which I'm sure are hiding away. But this is their setup. Got some Slovenia, some floating plant here. There's a few, like this is a big Java fern, which is supposed to be more attached to the land area. There is also a little bit of uh, purple waffle, some hair grass. Uh, this is a type of stricter and obviously pythos as well. And this thing's growing in here really well. Anyway, let's break apart the land area and try and find the normal frogs. Alrighty, so I've moved a piece of bark away. And you can see one albino, two albinos, two normals as well. So if we push them off into this corner or just hop away, Let's pick one up. Now my hands are damp, which is obviously very essential when handling frogs. Oh, there he goes. Now, again, these are just regular spotted marsh frogs. Nothing special about them, besides the fact that there's albino ones. Um, none under there. That's uh, quite surprising, actually. There we go, there's another two albinos. So, to be completely honest, I don't even know the total of how many I have. Um, I kind of just get them from here, there, and there in different sources. And uh, that's pretty much how I get them. Now, the way I have their tanks set up, so they do have a filter, obviously a fogger as we saw before. That's mainly for these plants to allow them to get a little bit more humidity as well. The frogs don't mind it. It doesn't really do any benefit to them though. The water is drizzling off of a bit of brick, a bit of bark. Otherwise, if that isn't there, it's just way too noisy. So having that there breaks away the sound a little bit more, and uh, it has a cool effect as well. I don't mind that; that looks kind of cool, but it is a bit noisier. So I'll probably fix that up in a second. But this is their really, really simple setup. I kind of went away from that natural look. I guess it's still kind of natural. But I could have decked it out much more plants, more reeds and stuff like that, which is great. And I might do that again in the future. But for now, this is their quite basic setup. It has a six watt uh, Petworks LED. This is great for growing plants. As you can see, the Pothos and uh, the Stricter all doing absolutely amazing in here. This was a bit of dead uh, Mondo grass that was already dead before I put it in there. So can't really do much about that. But uh, yeah, this is... The marsh frog tank. I believe I believe there's I think 14 in here. Majority of those being the albino ones. Which they're pretty cool. But uh this was just a quick a very quick episode on uh the marsh frogs because I was requested to do this. So thank you for the idea. I'm trying to get out videos quite a bit more frequently now. Okay guys, that's pretty much going to bring this video to an end. Again, a really, really short one, just highlighting my marsh frogs. As I said, it was requested by one of you guys, so thanks for the idea. Hopefully you like their setup. Again, it's pretty simple. It's just at the front door of my room, so it's the first thing you see when you walk in. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more plants for it uh, soon, but um, for now, that's essentially how it is. So what I'm going to do is leave you with a time lapse of the tank filling back up with its mist and fog, and... Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.